In this video I'm going to explain the communications tab within the BetAngel setting facility. If you click on the spanner you'll bring up BetAngel settings and within BetAngel settings you'll find communications. As you may be aware already you can actually modify the way that BetAngel communicates with Betfair when you log on you have a thing called a connection mode. If you want to learn about the connection mode I suggest you read the user manual because the user manual will enable you to understand how best to use uh, the connection mode. We suggest experimenting until you find one that's quite suitable to you. Um, the communications tab on BetAngel is designed to allow you to optimize um, how BetAngel communicates with Betfair. People on fast connections very often don't need to use this or modify it. People on slower connections or maybe in different countries uh, will probably get benefit from fiddling around with some of these settings. And, um, and that's basically what the communications area is for is it's to maximize uh, the connection to Betfair. Now a lot of this has been available before but it's only been available within a config file um, which a lot of people were obviously uncomfortable with editing um, so we've basically brought out that and put it into its own individual area. First thing to highlight is the data request. If you uh, do over 20 data requests to Betfair it's very likely to incur a charge so the data request limiter will basically stop you from running into additional requests. Now a lot of people have said to us, okay, if I load up Guardian, let's pull this across here, if I load up Guardian with uh, you know a billion markets, isn't that gonna upset it? Uh, no, it isn't, because all the data request charges and the way the bet engine works allows Guardian to have as many markets as you like, or even linked multiple markets to Excel, and it won't exceed the data request limit. The only thing you need to be aware of is if you set any of these settings um, too fast then in order to avoid a data charge what BetAngel will do is it will stop at 19 per second so if you're exceeding that number you may find that your response time slows down because you're basically overloading the system and you know there's no reason why if you want to play this game you can put it up to 30 you will get charged but you can add in faster refreshes and, and more things so it's up to you how you want to deal with that, up to you. But just be aware that BetAngel, this is a limiter, it will stop at 19 requests per second and wait until the next second before it unleashes the next set of data requests. So anyway, that's the, the uh, how to limit data requests and, and avoid getting charges. Usually we recommend set it lower than you actually really need it because of discrepancies in the way that Betfair calculates the data request charges. The connection tuner um, you can set this to a high number or a very low number, but the idea of the connection tuner is that you want to set it to the lowest number possible without stalling the software. So there's a, a bit of experimentation required here. But basically, if you set out the connection tuner to quite a large number, then if you've got a poor connection, you may find that a request to Betfair takes a little bit longer to get back. So if you shrink the connection tuner um, to the lowest number that uh, you, you can achieve, generally it wouldn't make sense to set it to sort of zero because that's not just not going to work um, but you probably want to set it somewhere between 3 and 10 I suggest you may want to fiddle with if you find that the connection stalling then you just need to pull out the connection tuner a little bit to stop it from stalling but basically you want to set it at the lowest number possible without stopping Betfair from refreshing you can see here we've also allowed you to decide what's important to you we've put this within the config file before and defaulted it to certain settings but if you want things to refresh faster or slower then you can set that from within here now and that's completely under your control so if you want matched and unmatched bets to return faster than your PNL then you can do that if you set your PNL to 500 milliseconds basically at twice a second um, BetAngel will call Betfair to check your PNL and display your PNL information but if you think that actually you want that to come back a bit faster then you would probably want to speed that up. It's, it's entirely within your control how you want to uh, display that information. I find generally at around 300 milliseconds it's quite adequate for me but it's entirely down to what you want to achieve. The connection smoothing is um, difficult to explain but basically this is again designed to speed up uh, the flow of information that you see in front of you. So I tend to have it off um, but we've had a few people uh, from other countries or with substandard internet connections that have basically asked us to implement 
something that would allow them to get faster uh, refresh or the, the data to uh, come across more consistently and not have the odd spike out. So we basically introduced that facility in version 126 and you can have it off low, medium or full. Basically on full you should find that on a poorer internet connection um, you get a much more consistent display of data. And using a combination of all of these you should be able to get huge amounts of flexibility and maximize according to your trading style or what you want to achieve um, the best possible connection to Betfair.